Are you an internationally educated or trained medical laboratory technologist and about to immigrate here in Canada? Or are you already here and thinking about how you can acquire the license and practice here? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can acquire the license for you to be able to work here as an MLT. Just a brief background about myself. Um, my name is Mavi, and I graduated Bachelor of Science in Medical Technology in the Philippines at the University of Santo Tomas. UST is one of the universities or schools in the Philippines that offers medical technology program. It's a four years bachelor's degree. So after I graduated in 2008, I was able to work in the University of Santo Tomas Hospital, which is also the hospital in the university where I graduated. UST Hospital is a tertiary hospital in the Philippines. And um, I worked there for almost six years before I moved here in Canada. I was able to immigrate here in Canada because of my profession as a medical technologist. It is through the Federal Skilled Worker Program of 2013. In April 2015, I came to Canada as an immigrant. And when I got here, I know I won't be able to practice as a medical technologist right away because I have to challenge the exam and acquire the license. But before you can acquire the license, you have to undergo an assessment. The CSMLS, which is the regulatory body here in Canada that is in charge of medical laboratory technologists, they are the ones who will assess their credentials and then they will tell you based on your credentials if you need to take the exam right away or if you need courses before you can write the exam. You have to be physically here in order to write the exam. It's very different from ASCP wherein you can write the exam in your country before you move to the States. Here in Canada, you have to be here to write the exam. It's a written exam. CSMLS, or the Canadian Society for Medical Laboratory Science, is the National Professional Society for Canada's Medical Laboratory Professionals, and they are the national certifying body for medical laboratory technologists, medical laboratory assistants, diagnostic cytology technologists, and clinical genetics technologist. So as I have mentioned, I am from the Philippines, and if I would compare CSMLS in the Philippines, we have PRC, or the Professional Regulation Commission. The only difference is that Professional Regulation Commission regulates a lot of professions such as nurses, medics, engineers, accountants, and etc. Unlike here in Canada, there are different regulatory bodies. It depends on the field or the profession. For medics, we are under CSMLS. If you're an internationally educated or trained medical laboratory technologist like me and you wanted to work as a medtech here in Canada, you have to acquire the license. But before you can write the exam for that license, you have to undergo through the prior learning assessment. In the CSMLS website, you can download the PLA MLT handbook. This handbook is really helpful, and I suggest that you read this at least three times so you could understand more the whole process of what are the documents that you need to complete, how much are the fees that you need to pay, and how will you submit all the documents to CSMLS? After you submitted all the documents and paid the necessary fees, the CSMLS will send you back a technical report. This technical report will tell you if you can take the exam right away or make a learning plan. Making up a learning plan means you have to take a course or courses. So the more 
experiences and the better educational background you have, the less chance you would take a course. So if you were able to work on all the disciplines, then chances are your technical report will just tell you to take the exam right away. If in your previous work experience as an MLT, you were able to work in clinical chemistry, clinical microbiology, hematology, transfusion science or blood bank, and histology, then your technical report will tell you that you can just write the exam. And then if you pass, then you'll be certified. But if there's a learning gap, SMLS will let you know if you need to take a course or courses depends on how many gaps you are lacking. When I did my prior learning assessment, the technical report that I got was that I have to take histology course. Once you pass the CSMLS certification exam, then you will finally be a certified medical laboratory technologist. Yay! There are a lot of job opportunities for medical laboratory technologists. You just need the license to practice. Once you acquire that license, then jobs will always be there. I will put a link in the description box where you can download the PLA MLT handbook as well as to find more information about the whole CSMLS MLT licensing process. I hope this video has been helpful and somehow gave you an idea on how you can start and process your license here in Canada. I did not discuss much about the prior learning assessment because there are too many information with that um, topic. But I will make a video about the prior learning assessment and I will try my best to give the step-by-step -step details or information that you need to know in order to process your PLA. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel so we will be more inspired to make more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you guys on the next vlog.